Brittany, one of the knitting instructors here at Jimmy Beans Wool, and I'm going to teach you how to do the crochet provisional cast on. So what you'll need is your crochet hook and your knitting needles. You will also need a scrap of yarn and your working yarn. Um, for your scrap of yarn, I would suggest using a cotton yarn or a smooth, um, a smooth wool. So first we'll start with making our slip knot. And take your crochet hook and put it right through that slip knot. And the crochet hook I'm using, it's Knitter's Pride Dreams crochet hook. I like it because it does have that little point on it and it makes it easier for chaining. So we'll want to chain three to four to start. There are various ways to do the provisional cast on, um, but this one is the crochet onto the knitting needle. I find that a little bit easier for me. So I just crocheted a few and I'm going to grab it with my thumb and my pointer finger and just pinch it there and take your knitting needle and this is the US size 17 Knitter's Pride knitting needle. So lay that right on top of your scrap yarn and take your crochet hook and grab that scrap yarn and pull it right through your loop and then move your scrap yarn through the knitting needle and crochet hook bring it around counterclockwise and do it again. And you'll want to do this motion until you have as many casted onto your knitting needle that your pattern calls for. So in this case, we're going to do 10. So I've already done two, so let's do three. And make sure you're kind of scooting it down your needle so it doesn't crowd you too much. So they're all lined up here. Seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more. 10. So on this last one, we're going to pull it out a little bit. And instead of bringing it back through, keep it right in front here because we're going to chain three more. One, two, three. And pull it out just a little bit. Take your scissors, and I have the Parveen scissors. Make a quick cut. And we want to thread that right through. And you don't want to pull it too tight because when you unzip it later, and that's when you go back through and take this out, you want it to go very smoothly right through. So now we have our provisional cast on. It's right onto our knitting needle. And now we're ready to use our working yarn and just start knitting. So the project that we have right now is the Victoria Scarf and it uses the Rowan brushed, um, the Rowan brushed fleece. And it's really soft and pretty. Go ahead and add your yarn. And knit like normal. Just gonna pull on my tail here. And you'll want to just follow your pattern as it's telling you. You'll see our crochet cast on edge and you'll just keep knitting until it makes a piece, a long piece. I already have one knit up just to show you. So it looks like this. And then what you'll do is you'll take your knitting needles and it's called unzipping. And so you're basically just taking out 
that scrap yarn. And I'm gonna do it really slow, one at a time, so that way we can pick up our stitches pretty easily. Get that to come loose. Okay, so there's our one live stitch. You can see it right there in the blue. And you're going to go right behind it to pick it up and slowly keep unzipping that yarn. So we'll do it again, right through. And so you'll keep going until it's all unzipped and you have all of your live stitches back so they're ready to knit back on it. Just be very careful not to lose your stitch. Almost to the end. The last one. Take your other knitting needle. And my last one, I kind of lost it there and you can see the line. So you'll just go through and pick it up. So now you're ready to start knitting here with your new yarn. And then you just knit through just like normal. And that's how you do the crochet provisional cast on. Thanks for knitting along with me. For more tutorials, go to youtube.com slash jimmybeanswool.